show ran for 964 performances, winning a number of Tony Awards, including the Tony for Best Musical in 1963. Forum marks the first musical Sondheim wrote, composed the music, and wrote the lyrics for. This show is based off the writings of the Roman playwright Platinus. Using the classic elements of farce, this show tells the story of a slave trying to win his freedom by helping his owner win the love of the courtesan of the brothel next door. This was not a typical story for Broadway at the time. However, it was a sneak peek of the of what to expect in the future shows.
heiress, who fakes a miracle to save her bankrupt town, only for her plan to be thwarted by an idealistic nurse and a stranger who might be a doctor. Sounds a little bit confusing? Audiences and critics thought so too. After 12 previews and nine performances, the show closed. It was not widely accepted at the time, proving to be too avant-garde. After six years later, the show has developed a cult following, and a revival is being done in South Park Playhouse in London this season. This next song is one of the most well-known numbers from the show.
As one of the first dark comedies of its time, Company was groundbreaking as it explored the relatively mundane ideas of relationships and marriage. The plot follows Bobby, who is exploring the ideas of love and happiness in life on the night before their 35th birthday. Company was a revolution that paved the way for similar shows in the following years. When Company was originally written, the main role was written for a man. However, in October of 2017, a West End revival in London swapped out male body, B-O-B-B-Y, for female body, B-O-B-B-I-E. This new casting has brought a new light to the show, and this new version is being played on Broadway.
received the New York Drama Critics Award for Best Musical. This show featured the reunion of ex Follies, workers that re or performers reuniting in their place of work. It features uh, uh, unhappy marriages, affairs, and past marks. Very strong. 
out that Samhain needed to keep the bulk of the band's vessel small for her to be able to perform to her voice.
queen's heart. The demon barber of the street. Thank you. 
love life. Sondheim also wrote the music for Saturday Night, which was supposed to premiere in 1954, but never did because of the death of a producer. Saturday Night premiered in the UK in 1994, and again off-Broadway in 2000. Assassins, which premiered off-Broadway in 1990 and on-Broadway in 2004, is a collective biography of historical figures who attempted to assassinate U.S. presidents, and explores what their presence in American history says about the ideals of their life and country. Sometimes last musical was Roadshow. This follows the story of two brothers, the Meister brothers, their adventures across America in the early 20th century. This show's original production off-Broadway in 1990 with the name Wise Guys. It again went off-Broadway with the name Bounce. And finally, it premiered, once again, off-Broadway in 2008 with the title Wise Guys. When news of Sondheim's death reached the theater community this past November, tributes poured in all over the world. The people who knew him told stories. Those who had the honor to perform his music shared the immense impact of in honor of the life and legacy of Sondheim, a tribute performance on Sunday from his Pulitzer Prize winning work, Sunday in the Park with George, was organized in Times Square on Sunday, November 28th, two days after the news of his death. Lynn Manuel Miranda opened the tribute with a quote from his book, When I Made a Hat, about the piece. This is the only lyric I have written that contains one long, incomplete sentence. I wanted it to be like the descriptive caption you might read in, in a museum and next to the painting. I would hope that the tone would echo the her permanence of the So. Oh. 